When you're camping and you're in a bunkhouse that's slideless, if the kids are snoring, you're going to be able to hear them. Because if you can hear me, this is your separation of space inside the 274BH. Some people like having the open air approach to their bunkhouse models. If you're the type of person that you want the kids to hear you snoring and then them and you hear them snoring, guess what? This is your dream sequence, baby, as my friend Trish would say. Let's start right up here in the front since we're here, Ryan. I got the queen size bed nestled in the front cap. This year they went with this kind of barn style decor. I like that. It's kind of whitewash theme. It looks good. It's rustic. Storage lip up top, mushroom lights all over. I got ward storage that's mirrored on both sides with the grayish decor and the matte black pulls. But what's cool is I got nightstand space with cubby storage, 110 outlet over here, and dual USB charging. Plus, I got windows on both sides. That one over there is also the emergency exit, so it does open up. You do have storage underneath. Um, and the Coleman Lantern LTs, they're made for the price conscious camper. You're going to give up a couple amenities for still a well-built coach. Coleman's been doing it for 60 years. But you got the jackknife sofa right here with the fold down to give you some extra space for your cup holders. Uh, you can chill out, just hang out, watch TV if you want to, because Ryan, spin around. Oh, hold up, right here. Almost walked right by this. Do you see how it came on when I walked up to it? Oh, that's your command panel. So this is where you can run out your awning because this is slideless coach, as well as check your battery, check your tanks. Now you do have a 46 gallon fresh and dual 42s on your black and gray. Now, I'm sorry, continue to pan. Oh, nope, stop right there. You also got this awesome oversized booth dinette and look how plush and comfortable the cushions are. I mean, with the window right there, I got my boss stereo system with a component shelf there. Uh, or a little grab and go spot, I guess. That'd be a good spot for it. I got my TV backer right here and my TV connections, my cable, my satellite, my power. I got my suburban controls for my 13.5 BTU AC, my oversized furnace. Uh, and you set up for WineGuard too, the Wi-Fi 4G LTE boosting. But this is where four people could sit and with the jackknife sofa that I just showed you a minute ago, people could sit there too, hang out, enjoy the conversations, enjoy the camp cooked meals feel the breeze from the ocean, the mountains, whatever, but make those memories. And being able to do that because you were able to get a coach that didn't break the bank, that had some good storage space, that could get you there, that also had an off-camp kitchen with a good lord, a huge size sink, high-rise faucet, large window. Look at my frosted glass that I have in here. So it's it's got some nice accents that make me feel like I want to be in it because I feel like I'm home. It looks good too. It's got bright spots where it needs to be bright and it's got dark accents where it needs to be dark. I got solid full extension drawer guide drawers. Got the upgraded linoleum in the flooring. Flush mounted three burner cooktop with the light. And how about my 16 inch Greystone oven, flush mounted microwave and Canon fridge freezer combo that is 12 volt. So uh, it's frost resistant, vibration smart. So it'll run going down the road. And since you're pre-wired for, sol for uh, solar panels, uh, dude, go ahead and get those bad boys put on. Double over double bunks. What's cool about that? Well, 300 pound capacities on each, number one. I know I joked in the front about, do you want to hear your kids snoring? Believe it or not, Having this solid wall will actually help that. The curtain doesn't give you complete, complete privacy. It does give you some privacy, does give a little bit of noise dampening, but having this here, that'll help. So, did I try to ruse you? I did. But at the same time, if you snore like me, <laughs> boy, Jesus in the concrete wall ain't gonna stop you from hearing that. That's all I'm saying. All right, coming to the rear off camp and we got the bathroom with the hair and bone pattern or surround on my shower. I got my shower controls, my nozzles right there. Good space on these. Uh, and I got my vent and fan here, my curtain there, plastic bowl. I wish they gave me a medicine cabinet, but it's an LT. It's Coleman Lantern LT. So you are gonna give up a few things and that's okay. I do have the countertop space here, but my sink and my little storage there. 28 feet, six inches, 4,800 pounds dry. Slideless, bunk. Can sleep up to eight, maybe more. 
Uh, if you spoon like I do and can cramp in, or you got the dogs, uh, good spot. Jackknife's a good spot. Just a good flow inside a slightless camper. It's not right for everybody, but if you're looking at it and you're saying, hey man, I dig that flow, this could be for you. 274 BH Coleman Lantern LT. All right, let's go outside. Come on, Ryan. So here we are on the outside of the Coleman Lantern LT 274BH. Let's start right up front. Powered tongue jack is going to help when you want to set up quick at the campsite or get hitched up quick. Plus, you got twin 20 pound LP tanks on this one. And I like how we're seated on that Hulk bolted frame. Really gives this coach some good support. And the 20 amp solar quick connect to me is just a fantastic option. Trickle charge those batteries. You got the little briefcases you can set out and move them around to the sun. Just really extends the life of that battery and extends your camping season. Underneath, you're going to see we got front stabilizer jacks, rear, sta <laughs> rear stabilizer jacks. Rare is how I like my stakes, which is what I'm thinking about right now. And over here on the campsite is going to be your pass-through storage. Magnetic clasps keeps our door stayed up, and I like, too, how we have the covered hinge, so you're not going to get those rust streaks down your door. But it finished off, and that's nice. The continuation of the decor from the front is also nice, that, that barn pattern. What I really want to point out, though, is your setup for tire pressure monitoring over there on the off-camp side. Over 76,000 RV accidents happen a year. Number one cause is tire blowouts. So when you get your RV, please get tire pressure monitoring on it. Just do it for me because I'm trying to make you do it for you. Extra large awning here with the LED light strip, sealed safety windows all the way around, solid step over steps, grab handle, solid to get me in, and double axle on this one at 28 feet. Having double axle, pretty nice. A little bit smoother toe, especially with that wide berth there. The leaf springs, the Dexter Easy Lube axles, and the steel rims, the 14 inchers. Uh, but something that you probably won't notice, but you'll feel, galvanized wheel well. It, when you're going down the road, picking up the debris, the rocks, and stuff like that, and making sure it doesn't damage the undercarriage, very nice to have. And I even like how they put my marine grade speakers on like, equidistant sides of the Coleman logo. That's just kind of a nice touch, looks nice. Talked about the windows, loved how you got the cross breeze in there, rear stabilizer jack, and four by four sewer hose storage here on the back, backup camera prep, arch ceilings, rain nozzles, other side, because we can't get around there, uh, is where you're gonna find your terminations. Good tank sizes too, 46 and dual 42s, 46 on your fresh, 42 gray, 42 black. I gotta tell you, man, for the family that's looking to get up off the ground, get out of the tent, we want our first RV, but we don't wanna break the bank. We don't need a ton of conveniences, but we want something durable. Coleman's been doing it for 60 years. But if you're saying, Chris, at that weight, less than 4,900 pounds, 28 feet, four inches long, I don't have to upgrade my truck. Where can I get it? Camperworld.com or click the link down below. We got the pricing and all location information for you. Come pick it up, enjoy it safely, get the tire pressure monitoring, and leave me some comments. I'll look forward to hearing from you soon and seeing you soon. See you.